Glam gets wicked tonight. So she's very reflective. So I'm going to try and like hold her in a very good position. But continuing on from the brats last week, I, when I was home, found this Jade Jador um, in my wardrobe back at home. And I've literally, I've got my brat slithers on a shelf and I'm just missing Jade. And I was like, I know I bought her. I know I had her because I love her whole design and her. And I was like, I'm not going to buy them second hand because they never have the mesh and I need the stand and all that kind of stuff, which is in here, hopefully. Yes, the stand is in here. Um, and you can never find Brad Sellers with stands, I swear. Um, as you can see, back in the day, she was a tenner on sale. Um, yeah, let's get her open and I'll talk about Brad Sellers a little bit more. Okay. That was the time. Um, flashbacks to like 2010. Uh, there's so much tape on the back of them and thread and stuff. And whew, but let's start with the accessories. So this is the Bratzilla stand. As I mentioned, they're really hard to find now unless you buy one in box or find one in box like I did. So glad I've got this. And the little broom brush. This little, this little collector's card, which has some info on the back. It says, Jade Jador helps heal a broken heart. Uh, Bratzilla's pledged to help all girls with magic from the spirit world to mend broken heart today, recite spell exactly this way. And more and more may true love start. Bratzakadabra, heal my broken heart. So cute. Um, yeah, so all of Bratzilla's are witches and they all have a different speciality based on like their interests. So Jade, Jador, is a love witch so she can help heal broken hearts, make people fall in love, that kind of thing. Um, and then we've got Cloetta Spalletta, who, her magic is like fusing things. She's like half and half. It's really cool. Uh, Megana, hers is flying. Iconic. Um, Sasha Bella, she can speak to animals. And then Yasmina can see the future. So, pretty cool. And here is Kissy Fuss, who is her pet. Um, I always thought that was a cute name, but now I'm like, is it a Sisyphus reference? Because if it is, that's really big brain from Bratz. He still works. That's so cute. And like the Bratz pets were really cute. Again, it was kind of to match the Monster High with their pets and that kind of thing at the time. But these are bigger and did stuff, so that's cool. And now onto the main doll herself. So, a few things. <laughs> the cape is a little wild from how it's been in the box. There's also a hole, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, from how it was packaged. Um, but, it's fine. All the Bratzlers have these little loops, which means you can put it on their arms and, like, pose them with it, which is really cool. Um, should we start from the top? So, she has this really cute witch hat with, like, a ruffle on the bottom. Obsessed. I, I want this hat so bad. Uh, here's her little bob. It's a little sparsely rooted at the back. Um, and I think this is what everyone refers to when they talk about Monster High having Polly and that not aging well because the new Monster High, not the old Monster High. Um, this hair has not been out of the box and it is so fried and dry. Um, but yeah, at least it's a bob. Like, it's fine. She has these really cute little earrings that are like a half heart. This mesh over her eyes is so hard to find on doll second hands, so I'm so glad I've got her like this. And uh, she has heart irises, which is so cute. The cape, Bratzilla's crest, this like heart rib cage, which is so cool. And her dress is like pleather with lace sleeves and details. I'm not gonna touch it too much because it is quite old and pleather doesn't tend to age well. She has this little tattoo of a heart. These are her knee guards, one is on her, thigh because it was in the box at that position so it's stretched to fit there so it no longer fits on her knee um and then these shoes <laughs> they're so cute they're so brats does witchy like big brats shoes with like a little pointed toe that curls up and like buckles so good um she's such a look oh and she has a heart handbag as well um i'm so tempted to cosplay her <laughs> because i think it's such a look and I always thought she was so cool, which is probably why I kept her in box, because I was like, this is the one. But nope, she's out, she's joining the collection. 
Um, I'll do a little shot of my shelf to finish up. Um, but yeah, I hope you have all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye. And here is the Bratzilla shelf. There's a few hiding back there as well. Um, I'm so glad I've got the, the main five at the front. Um, obsessed. They're so cute. As you can see, the shelf. I'm I'm looking for more shelves. I want another shelf set here. Um, so they're not as cramped in. Um, because that's just how the cookie crumble with these shelves. This one has so much space, but you can't move it any higher. And like, they would just be crushed. So, but yeah, for now, this is where they live. They look so good together. Ah, uh, amazing. Iconic.